Shah, Shale Kora Mahanda. I speak walking, I speak life and activity into this girl's body, Lord, into her limbs. Let activity begin to take place. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. 
Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. You may be seated. I believe in miracles. Say amen. I read the word. I prayed. I took action. And the Lord said to me, there is something missing. And I said, what is it? He said, there's a glory that goes to these things. And many Christians are suffering and struggling to be Christians. Pressing their way to come to church. Because there's no glory. Hallelujah. There's got to be a glory in your walk. There's got to be a glory in your Christianity. There's got to be a glory. I, I hear people preach and teach the word, but there's no glory in it. There's no grandeur. There's no content. There's no anointing. There's no wonder. Hallelujah. It's as flat and dead. God chose Moses. And that's what he does. It's because you have qualifications. Get out of here. He chose to give you music. Anyway, well, I didn't talk much. He didn't teach us nothing. He chose to give you music. He chose for me to preach. But I must beg him for the glory. Oh God, take me in your hand and glorify me and glorify the anointing and glorify my gift and glorify. Calls Moses to the mountain. And before he does, Moses ministered Joshua and some of the tribal head, the elders, saw him. They saw him. You cannot follow me as I follow God unless you see the God I see. Or oh, you'll think I'm crazy. You think I'm using you. For God's sake, a lot said, we got to get his eyes open up. He's got to see you like I see you. So we'll be on one call. I got strength. I didn't have strength, I'd be sitting there. But he's giving me strength. And you're going to be able to tell it because every time I get strong, And saw and heard things unlawful for a man to utter. And came back and couldn't talk to him about it. You must be in the place to hear everything God tell me to tell you. You must be in a place uh, to do everything God tell me to tell you to do. And stop being offended and stop being hurt and stop uh, going home and staying and be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Paul said, I can help that, 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 but I have to talk to you as spiritual. But you're a baby, you're still petty, you got these little children in mind. I 
I said to one saint, I start not to serve your community. Because they were whimpering and whining. And the Bible said, you can't drink and eat unworthily. When you drink and eat damnation, and I had to get a clearance because it's his body. He said, take, eat, this is my body. This is, it's not my body. And they got mad. I haven't seen them since. Even though I served them, and then they took two more with them. Cannot endure hardness. You've got to let me make you hard. Because shaking is not going to take it easy. You've got to allow me to toughen you up. Come on. You're not wrestling against flesh and blood. This ain't your mama law you fight. You fight against the wives of the devil. You're fighting against the money forces. And you need to take it to you the whole army of God. I got to be able to talk to you. I got to be able to say to you, you need to tighten up. You need to pray up. I got to be able to say to you, if I'm sharing my pulpit with you, you don't know what you're talking about. Where you get that from? Why don't you read the Bible? If I'm your parent and I can't talk to you, but God say, who will? Who are supposed to talk to you if I can't talk to you? said I got some stuff for you but you're too timid too touchy I cannot I could not speak to you as unto spiritual you're not mature when I was coming up in the apostolic church when they put us up to preach they gave us a code, a sign. So when you're up preaching and you're in error, the bishop said, I'm going to clear my throat. That means say man and sit down. So I got the throat cleared a lot on me. And I be saying, hey. and, <clears throat> and said, pray the Lord, saying, y'all pray for me. People want to preach without studying. Preach without knowing God. Preach without an anointing. Preach without a prayer life. And they don't want anybody to say, listen, something is missing. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Huh? Jesus said that, they told that man, yet one thing thou likest. I gotta be able to tell you what you like. You can tell me I'm doing this, I'm doing that, but yeah, but there's something like the glory to God. And you're not going to make it till you get it. They saw him. They didn't see the glory. Joshua didn't see the glory. Called Moses and says, come on up. And he went up into the mountain. In the cloud. And he disappeared from sight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's a move of God in the body of Christ. And this is what I try to teach so you won't be behind. The body of Christ is worldwide. And there's a move of God in the body of Christ that's keeping people current. You don't want to be country in the woods behind when it comes to the things of God. You want to be on top. You want to be current. You want to know what God's doing in the world today. You want to know the move of God. You don't want to be old-fashioned, filled with religion, sitting on your behind just waving your head. Glory to God. The move is on, my Lord. The move is on. I can hear the going in the mulberry bush. And I know the move is on. God's moving somewhere. You've got to let it be right here. 
You gotta let it live in your midst. Those of you sitting on the back need to stop sitting back there like it's a funeral home and get the move of God in your body. up into the mountain. And it's soon. And I'm going to give you just a fraction of the glory of the word of God. As soon as he was exposed to the presence of God and the Bible said God is the Word. And the Word was God. That which framed the worlds was the Word. And the Word was God. John said in the book of Revelation, and his name shall be called the Word of God. His name shall be called Creator. His name shall be called Inventor. His name shall be called Wonderful. I have little pet names I give the Lord. I call it my mountain man. <laughs> hey, mountain man. He loves to meet with his people in high place. Yeah. Took Abraham into the mountain. Said, look from this place whence thou art. Look from your mountain. Stop looking at everybody else's high place. Stop looking at what I'm doing for her. Stop looking at what I'm doing for him. Stop looking at their mountain. Look at your mountain. Look where I got you. Look what I'm doing for you. Look what I'm giving you. Look for this place where Zion. Listen to the next line. He said, I'll give you all that you can see from where you are. To get high and can't see nothing. All you see, I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. You know what I see? God renewing me. You know what I see? God giving me new intestines. God renewing and beautifying the meek with salvation. You know what I see? Believers receiving miraculously things done in their bodies, in their finances, and in their home. You know what I see? I see numbers of you overcoming with great strength and great power and having testimonies that's going to disturb hell and the realm of the devil. I see victory. I see Satan defeated. That's what I see. You may be seen. Soon as I'm not talking about, no, wait a minute. Sit down. No, it's soon. As he's exposed to God. God stop talking. And God talked 40 days. 40 days and 40 nights. Talk, 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 talk. What else is he going to do? He is the word. That's what the word does. It speaks. And when he speaks, things happen. When he speaks, things are created. When he speaks, worlds come into existence. 
him over that period of time. The wilderness church. When God is establishing his church in a leader, you need to share that. It's just too many people in the church that think they know how the church ought to be ran. And pastor, no, I think we ought to do this. I said, say it again. That's what I said, say I was invited to speak to a group of people. And it was a fresh gay movement. So they ain't like no heterosexuals in there. They don't know homophobia in there. So they invited me and I was in there speaking. So I, I don't know what I said. <laughs> what they thought I said. One of them anyway. So I said, praise the Lord. I, threw, I come out the door and I was on the side. One of them come behind me by that tall. Had foot chin and she looked. He would look like an ice potato. He <laughs> come out behind me and said, uh, wait a minute, Reverend. And I said, yes. He said, what did you say when he was in there? I said, I said what do you mean what I said? Say what you said. <laughs> no, say what you said when he was in there. Say it again. Say what you said. I said, I said what did I say? Say what you said. Man, I took off. <laughs> I don't know what I said. I don't know what he thought I said. But I had sense of knowing we wasn't going to straighten it out. Shoot, I better put this thing on the road. God had downloaded the church in Moses. He had the measurement. Yeah. He had the material. He had the titles. In sight of him. Mm -hmm. Them didn't go up. <laughs> him went up. He downloaded the new order in Jesus. Jesus was with God for 40 days and night. And he came back and said, upon this rock, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Moses built the tabernacle, which was a shadow of that church that God was going to download into Jesus. Jesus said, I'm going to fill it from the beach of hell. Every dispensation, every period of time that God moved on the world to affect all nations, men have to go to heaven to move her. Moses went for 40 days. Jesus went for 40 days. And now Paul goes for 14 days. Whether in the body or not, I can't tell. Such one was caught up to the third heaven. Some things are lawful for me now. So he comes back. God downloads the church order that you and I supposed to be walking in now. He downloads that in the apostles. But Paul had problems because they had so many preliminaries. So many auxiliaries, so many substitutes for the real thing. Why well, we don't have the real thing? Let's put a substitute. Now there are things that God allows. But the perfect order doesn't need any help. Okay. And that which is perfect is coming, and that which is 
in part, shall be done away with. You read what God downloaded in Paul, and you ain't gonna find no usher boy. Mm -hmm. When he began to set the church in order, you ain't gonna find no choir. All that hell raising about what we gonna sing with it. No, you the choir. Let all the people praise him. Hallelujah. You're the choir. Everybody ought to be singing. Everybody ought to be praising God. You're the choir. Hallelujah. The auxiliary is a preliminary event. The main event is the perfect order of Jesus Christ. In the image, in the measure, in the stature of our Lord Jesus Christ. You don't have no youth department. All that hellish division in the church. Got to talk to the youth director. Got to talk to the youth director. Got to talk to the women director. Don't know what they talk about. Too many heads. Paul said, I went to heaven, and one thing I'll tell you, he's the head. In him we live and we move. Come on. And we have our being. Glory to God. And he has set forth the divine order. He said, Let the women be sober in the church. Ain't the Bible right? Let the older women teach the young women. Ain't the Bible right? He said, I'll call the old. Strong and know the way. Ain't the Bible right? Children, be subject to your parents. Ain't the Bible right? You're to be taught at home. You don't hear preachers preach the church. They preach grace, just preach. But divine order is the biblical constitution. Do you ever notice in the Bible, anywhere in the Bible you go, when God sent a man to preach to a nation, to preach to a people, to preach to a village, to preach to a town, he had no praise team. <laughs> and Burnham. He didn't have no organ. Huh? Y'all gonna talk to me. <laughs> they went into them cities and turned them upside down. Not one song was sung. Not one choir was a part. Huh? Glory to God. The anointing of God came on him and God showed through him signs, wonders and miracles and people were added to the church and were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Single people were married to the church that simply meant that they should be submissive where there was any form of agreement. Not bowing up. Not free basing all over the church. Causing disorder. But walking submissively. Come on baby, I'm talking about the main event. I ain't talking about these little matches that come before. I'm talking about what you paid to see. I'm here for the main event. Praise Lord. Come on. We'll make a report for the missionary board. I got your missionary board. 
You know where you got that board from? You kill the tree. Yeah. Uh -huh. Time you want a board, you kill a tree. God be like a tree, he didn't say be like a board. singing came from all the people. Yeah. Why? Because he saved all the people. He brought all the people out of Egypt. He healed all the people. He blessed all the people. He fed all the people. Let all the people praise him. So the law was until Jesus. The law gave over to Jesus. Okay. Now Jesus with the Lord for the day, for not being tempted of the death. God downloaded divine order. The church moving out of the wilderness, out of complexity. <laughs> Moving out of types and shadows and symbols into a more perfect form. It's now downloaded into Jesus. Jesus said, Upon this rock, I will build my church. It was not Moses' church. Come on. You got people out there on. You know what I'm talking about? That acting like it's their church, but it's not their church. It's his church. And the women that you should have in the church are holy women, sober, godly women. And the only diversity you have among those women are the old and the young. And let the old teach the young. When he's talking about old, he's not just talking about age. He's talking about the non stupid. Okay. Let them teach because you can't find this in college. You won't find this in a book. It's an order that comes from God, so he downloads it, and a man and a man gets it. Paul says, What I got. He said, I'll tell you where I got it from. I got it from God. Let me tell you about this mystery. It was here from the world in the beginning, but God has now seen fit to reveal it, to bring it into manifestation through his apostles. It was even here from the prophets. Now it's being made known the, mani the manifold wisdom of God to the church. So a lot of stuff in churches ain't got no business being. People tell me, they ain't no need. Mm -hmm. I'm the head missionary. You ain't the head. Yeah. Yeah. You're a branch. Jesus said you're a branch. I'm the vine. You're a branch. You 
us go back to your biblical name. I'm a branch. He's a vine. Hallelujah. And what the Bible says. Close. I know y'all don't want to hear this. So we changed the church because we don't like God's order. But that's the only order that you can be saved. Yeah. It's the only order. He addressed the women. He addressed the men. And he set them in order. Five full ministerial gifts are given to set the church in order. And he's given us apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers for the perfecting, the maturing, for the edifying. They are building of the body. He's not allowing, he, he will not tolerate any other interference. It is not an intellectual move, it is a spiritual move that comes from God. Sanctification is not worldly. It is not something produced by the government. I live by myself, I'm sanctified. No, you lonely. He speaks to a class of women. Adorn yourself in holiness. Some of us got to hold on. Some of us got to show an example. Some of us got to be mirrors. It's over now for some of you. <laughs> Ava says, you put no no girl. Shit. But you put no no girl. Jesus. You can't do that. Ain't no such an enticing. Just get something that's going to fit you. And you're going to be comfortable. As long as he's interested, he, he's supposed well to keep him interested. <laughs> you, you ain't got no hands, just put grease on the ball and shot it. People be going, oh my God, he shot it. I'll teach you, you want to be taught. certain things that's past and begin to deal with what you got and that's gone but you can thank God for memories you will always have memories as long as you don't find a trap in your memory He gives the order. The order was given to three men. I don't care how many go to heaven now. No other foundation can any man lay other than one already laid. Jesus Christ, chief cornerstone, and the apostles and prophets. 
no other stone. He tells us what? Should be our services in what areas? Amen. A lot of things that's come up. People say, you know, who needs a man? You don't need a, 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 a department of hospitality. All saved people to have some man. Yeah. Right. I get all these no man of people. And the usher can't tell them nothing. Sit right now. Nah, I ain't sitting there. <laughs> And you can't ask God to enforce something that he never endorsed. Mm. Give God the praise. I, 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 give him a good praise. Enjoy the word. Yeah. I want to straighten something out. I don't know whether I'm straightening it out or not. But we are dealing with our regenerated spirit or our unregenerated spirit and the Holy Spirit and the spirit of fallen angels which includes the devil. Then you have demons. Now there are two schools of teaching in that area. And one school of teaching is that sit facing this way. Amen. And one school of teaching is that there are two schools of those who fell and left their first estate. And there's a teaching that said that they, they, angels are not reproductive because they were created. We were created. But it said they're not reproductive because they don't have human bodies. Well, there's so much we know about the Bible, but we do know that when angels, fallen angels, had relationship with women, they birthed giants. So the theory that they're reproductive is not true in that sense. And it said that the demons of fallen angels that lost their bodies but angels never had human bodies. They had some, they're celestial, and their bodies are celestial. And the demons are the spirits of people who died when there was no Hades, when there was no heaven, and their spirits roamed the earth seeking to live in human flesh because that's what they come out of. And they're living a dog or an animal or anything, a human being. But angels don't live in human bodies because they're celestial. Amen. Amen. So sometimes people get that crossed up, show that you don't have a good view when you're fighting the devil. That don't mean a lot to some of you because you ain't out that far no <clears throat> Amen. Amen. But for those of us who said, Satan, the Lord rebuke you, you have to be taught and you have to know, <clears throat> you know, what level of activity is in that person's life when you rebuke the devil. <clears throat> Amen. What level of activity is in that person's life? Now, <clears throat> I don't know. Angels <clears throat> are like snowflakes. No angel is like the other angel. All angels are different. You're talking about a wonder. God is a wonder. Amen. Amen. All people are different. Even identical twins are different. <clears throat> Amen. Amen. 
And so you have to understand the doctrine of God if you're going to deal with emancipating humanity. Yeah. Helping anybody on any level, any dimension, going and praying for the sick. You need to know what spirit has been assigned to that house, that family. And you need to know what to pull out your bag to deal with. You can't pray the same prayer for the same person everywhere you, you know, everywhere you go, you pray the same prayer for different people. Because people are not the same. Amen. And so, every Sunday, we, we, we go do prayer. And the Lord made me some promises, and I see things come to pass that many of you will begin to receive strength and healings as I have. Some will receive it quickly. You will sense that some impediments that you've been having, you're not going to have them anymore. Particularly those of you who really want to do something for God. God will help you out. Amen. He'll deal with paranoia. He'll deal with mental illness. Schizo. You didn't know. Because some of us live in the community of crazy. You're as crazy as I'm I know about it. Because I was crazy. Oh, everybody was talking about me. Couldn't stand to see him getting up. What y'all talking about? Nigga, I know y'all ain't over there. Don't be one of you thinking about me. Said, Can we do they talk about me? I said, Why? <laughs> what W E H Y? They really must not have anything else to do. <laughs> so you have to know what you're coming up against before you try to employ a weapon. You have to use the right weapon. And the first thing you got to do is once God downloads revelation into you, what you're praying, it comes into your thoughts. Your thoughts will begin then to search to see how you retain what's been preached to you and what's been taught to you, what's on file for you to go back and get and deal with this situation. Some of you file it away, but you file it improperly so you can't find it. Some of you heard, but don't remember it. Oh, hallelujah, pure job. When I go to a home, first thing I do is assess the house. What demon is over this house, if any at all? Don't think because you say spirits have not been assigned. They're assigned to keep people that can help you away. And the one thing you don't want, somebody around you all the time that has access to you that's not spiritual. Because that's going to be a constant block. And every time the Holy Ghost says something, they're going to get a thought. And that's how Satan works persuasion is to how you think. Stand up and give God 10 seconds of praise like you're going out your mind. Whoa! 
said, but he pressed them strongly, so they turned aside to him and entered the house, his house, and he made them a feast and break unleavened bread, and they ate. This bread we're going to partake on this morning is natural, but I'm speaking what's in me, the word of God, to turn it spiritual so that we may be able to be healed, set free, delivered in the way of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, as we partake of this bread, 
Lord, we ask that you come down and change it, Lord Father, from natural to spiritual, so that it can be healing to the body, mind, soul, and spirit in the name of Jesus. I invite you, oh Father, to come and commune with us in the name of Jesus. I declare that this bread is life, and whosoever eat of this bread will never thirst again in Jesus' name. Let us pray, bread together in unity. Let us pray, bread together in unity. When we fall.
killed people by the thousands and God looked like a bad man. But until you get to the root of it, what is it that set him off? Why is he so angry? It's because he made a man and he gave him everything. And the man kicked him out and didn't love him anymore. The man chose to serve the devil rather than to serve the God that gave him everything. And if that wasn't bad enough, the devil began to gather of the human race armies to fight against the saints and to fight against God. So many of the cities, many of the people that were slaughtered in the Old Testament as well as in the New Testament was because the war was still raging between the devil, false prophets, and the beast, and God, and his saints fighting against the world and the dead. There's an evil out there now. You see it on television, you see it on you. There are people that don't believe in God. And the day will come when those of us who testify to being Christians will be persecuted. It's happening in other countries right now. People are being beheaded and killed. We want to thank God for the freedom that we now enjoy. But God was angry because the first Adam booted him out. So God sends his son who comes back as the second Adam that brings him back. But in order for the anger and justice to be appeased, the second Adam had to be slaughtered. Somebody had to pay for doing God like they did here. And God is going to take it out on the whole human race because all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. But before God could destroy everybody, Jesus said, wait a minute. Prepare me a body. And I'll go down and I'll stand for those who were born and are dead and those who are and those who are yet to come. I will stand for all of humanity. If you just got to have somebody to slaughter, slaughter me. So he took my place. He took your place. He stood in your stead. Amen. So when you partake of this body, what you're saying is, I believe that you stood in my stead and I won't have to go through that. Because you, a vocarious sufferer, you took my place and made me innocent in the sight of God. And the next thing you're going to partake of is his blood. He bled for you. He who had no blood got plasma from somewhere so that he could live in a human body. God had to put a cost on the human race. And Jesus stood as the federal head of the whole human race. That you might be emancipated. And all you have to do is accept him as your Lord and Savior. And once you do that, he says, now take my body, which is broken for you. I'm taking your place. My blood, which is shed for you. I'm taking your place. You can go now. You're free now. You won't have to go through this. The judgment and the justice of God has been appeased here on Golgotha. So as you partake of this final sacrament, I want you to keep that in mind, that he came way down, amen, so that he might redeem us. And we want to give him praise.
for your generosity and you look so African you look so beautiful really I didn't know they had anything like that that's their next fashion get the cameras on this ladies and gentlemen you may not look that good in it but that's from Nene African fashion praise the Lord and she has some beautiful stuff Oh, go ahead on and walk back to your side. Y'all give God a praise. Nobody else that needs to touch my hand before I go back up there. You better come on. Hallelujah. You better come on. Amen. Next time. 
this money is gonna cost you a hundred dollars to get the hand on this hand. <laughs> Come get this freebie. Hallelujah. Amen. Believe, I believe in with you as I touch you. I don't care what it is. Jesus Christ is our prayer. God bless it.